All right, so we've looked at mobile phone cases in the past, each one doing a unique thing, each one costing well over 20 bucks. Sometimes you just want a cheaper alternative to those and have it look good. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at two $5 cases for the iPhone XS and the XS Max. Both of them are in both variants. We're gonna be seeing if they're worth it. Five bucks, should be a good steal, I hope. All right, so these are the two camera cases that we're gonna be taking a look at. One of them's called the Volofin. It's a pretty simple silicon case for five bucks. It's supposed to provide similar levels of protection to what an outer box does. Now, in terms of build quality, it is a cheaper, cheaper plastic. The back of it has a nice feature where you can pull out and have cards stored inside of here. So it's also a part wallet, part phone case, which is a good feature. But in terms of protection, meh, it'll be okay. It's not, it's not the most secure. It's not the most secure phone case, but it'll do the job. It has a little lip for your screen so that when you put it face down, you don't need to worry about your screen getting scratched, which is a good plus. The back of it is a hard plastic, so it's slippery on a table surface. But yeah, I mean, five bucks, it's all right. Let's see what the other option is. All right, so this is a second phone case option, and this one also is for five bucks, and we're gonna see how they vary in terms of features and actual quality. Now, this one is called the Mirror Gold phone case, and it comes with its own stylus. So we're gonna see how well that stylus works. Ooh. It's not bad. It feels light, but it feels sturdy enough. Like it's not bending when I do that, which is a good touch. And then of course you have the stylus, which if you have a phone, you know, you can, ooh, ah, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it responds as a finger would. Now, another good thing about using a stylus with your phone is that you don't get any fingerprints on it. So that's a good touch, but we're here for the case. Five bucks, let's see what it gets you. All right, I mean, straight off the bat, there is a protection for the front of the case. So it does seem to have that mirror. Ooh, look at that mirror. Woo, can I blind you with these lights? Probably not. But, I mean, in terms of finish, that's pretty good. It's not actual metal, it is a plastic. All right, so when you open the case, because this is a flip case, it's made of a similar plastic to the front, except it's not polished. It does have this softer-ish plastic material in here. It's not microfiber, it's not scratch resistant, but it does feel good. I don't think your phone would get scratched, but that is a concern. And then it opens up to do one of those cinematic viewing experiences for your phone. You know, you place it in here, you watch a movie, you're watching Netflix. It's a good feature to have. See how it holds. Ooh, that's a bit tough to put. Ooh. I'm a bit worried about putting this inside of here and scratching the corners. That's the problem with these cheaper cases is that they have hard corners and then it'll scratch your metal phone. All right, so it snaps into place. It feels good in terms of, oh, do you see that? Look at that. It shows through the case. Do you guys see this? That is my background through the case. So let's just say you want to quickly check the time. You don't want to open your phone, leave it vulnerable to the elements. You click the sleep wake button and it shows you the time through the mirror display. That is a cool feature. This is five bucks. Does the screen work through it? Let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, no. So you can't actually access your screen through the thing, but that's a cool touch. You can see what time it is through the front of the case. That is cool. All right, so I've seen these phones online that go for like $4,000, $5,000. They're gold-plated iPhones. Now, for five bucks, you sort of get a similar appearance. Now, the back of it isn't too convincing, but the front of it, if you have it facing up, that looks sick. So for five bucks, which one would I rather go with? 100% the gold folding case. Like, look at it. So many good features. Now, this one does hold card slots. It's okay. I mean, you can only fit like two in here has a depth of about, I don't know, was that half a centimeter or so? So like two or three cards can fit in there, and then it'd be hard to get them out. And it comes with a stylus. 100% if you want your phone to look a lot cooler, you know, make it look like you have something that other people don't, for only five bucks. I can't get over, that is five bucks. And I can't get over that you can actually see your screen through it, like that, it's pretty handy. That is a handy feature, and it's not, it's not too revealing, it's not like anyone can just you know, peek from the side and see what's going on in your phone. It's good, I get it. 
All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Let us know if you'd be picking up one of these phone cases or if you already have one similar to this or if you want to see anything unboxed or reviewed and subscribe if you're new. We do videos every day.